Hi, Michael Bettine here again, talking about gongs. Today we're talking about bags and cases. Here I'm holding a small tambourine bag that I picked up from Steve Weiss Music. It's a nice sturdy canvas type bag. I think it costs something like $20, $25. Got a little opera gong in there. There's a little chow gong. And I always put some cardboard in between each gong so they're not rubbing against each other. No metal on metal contact. And these are great. I've got a few different ones that I keep different sets of small gongs in. I can get six to eight gongs in each. And then these go into a larger trap case. So my gongs are organized and they're nice and safe for transport. I also have some cloth drawstring bags. I've got some like this one that came with a symbol. Here's a 14 inch tie gong. I can just put it in the bag. I can pull the drawstring if I want to make it tighter. Gives it a little protection against other gongs. And I can nest smaller gongs inside or even take like that tambourine bag with gongs in it and put it inside. Then these can all be put into a larger case for transport. So everything is nice and neat and safe. You can also use for larger gongs a typical cymbal bag. Here's a Peisty 22 inch cymbal bag. The front hi-hat pocket I can put some small gongs, like here's a 14-inch Michael Peisty gong. So I can get two or three small gongs in there, again with padding between each gong. If you open it up, there's dividers inside, so I can slide the gongs in and out. Nice and convenient. Here's like a 20-inch symphonic, 22-inch wind gong, and I have a smaller like 18-inch gong there. So it's a great way to transport small gongs. You can get cymbal bags in like 22 and 24 inch, but you want to make sure you check that your chow type gong with a rib will fit. You know, cymbals are flat on the edge, so they're easy to put in. 22 inch chow or peisty type gong might not quite fit the case and let it zip up all the way. So if you get a chance, check it out first before you buy it. See if you can close the bag. These are great for casual gigs, you know, one-off gigs, or going to the yoga studio with your gong. I use them around town. I also use them to store my gongs when they're not being used. Here's a nice 24-inch gong bag from Gongs Unlimited. The little logo says, bang a gong, get it on, which happens to sort of be my motto. So I like that. You can see the edge is a little wider, so it will take a rimmed chow type gong in there and it fits fine. The top zips all the way around and you can drop it down, have full access to the gongs. Here are some foam discs that I picked up and they're great for in between gongs. Give it a little cushion, a little padding. I've got like a 22 inch and a 24 inch Peisty gong in here right now. So they're nice and protected, nice and cushioned. So again, bags are great, you know, around town, going to the yoga studio, things like that. Now, if you want more protection, you need a case. Here's some fiber cases from Humesenberg. They make a full range of gong cases up to like 40 inches in fiber. They also make plastic cases up to about 32 inches. This is a 24 and a 32 inch case. I've recently got the, well, the 32 inch a few years ago, so that's been around. The smaller one, you can see it's been around a lot. I've added another strap to it and another handle, but it's still a great little case, still works. Now these are nice, you can get multiple gongs in each. In the 32 inch one, I can put a 32 a 28 and like a 24 in there. It gets heavy but still manageable 
for one person, so that's not too bad. So fiber cases are great. They'll last a long time, and they'll give you some good protection for transporting your gongs around. But if you want the ultimate protection, you need a flight case. So here's a couple flight cases I have. This first one in the front, the black one is actually a speaker cabinet case that I picked up used for a really good price. And the dimensions just happened to work for what I wanted to do. But you can see it's got the, the tough laminate outside. It has the metal trim and the butterfly latches. So it's a sturdy little case there. This is one of the lighter type ones, so it's a little lighter in weight. You can get various classes of flight cases. So this one's pretty easy to maneuver. Just flip the latches. You know, we've got all that nice solid hardware there, but flip the latches. I can pull the top off. And then inside, I have a Gongs Unlimited gong bag. So when I'm traveling with my full rig, I'll use the flight cases. I can put a gong bag in there, and I'll put a little padding in between, and put a second one in there. So I can get a lot of different small gongs, 16 to 24 inches in there in bags with padding and padding inside the case so they're really protected and that's great you know if you're traveling a lot case is still fairly light it's got side handles so i can manage it alone or if there's two people it's really easy to carry i can also pop it on a wheeled cart and stack other things on top this is my larger one here. It's a 32-inch flight case. Again, it has the laminate sides, all the nice metal edging hardware, and some butterfly latches and handles. Let's take a look inside. Let's pop the latches, and we'll pull the top up. I've even had this case go down a flight of stairs full of gongs, and the gongs have survived. So it's got some padding inside in the lid. It's got a little strap to keep the top from flopping all the way back. And it's got padded sides in the bottom. There's my 32-inch Peisty Symphonic gong. I've also got some carpet squares cut to fit. This is the type of carpeting they use on amplifiers and speaker cabinets. It's nice and tough, but I can nest a few gongs in there. Usually a 32, and again, maybe a 28 or a 26 and a 24. Gets awfully heavy though. I, I don't ever put more than three gongs in there because it tops out at about 80 pounds. And it's about 32 inch gongs, so it's about a 36 inch square case. It's fairly bulky for one person to manage, especially with all that weight in there. With the side handles, it's not too bad for two, but one person, yeah, it's a, it's a lot to handle. I've also got some small plastic accessory cases. Again, these are from Humes and Berg. These were actual demo cases from a music store I worked at. They had one in each color that Humes and Berg makes the colored cases, the plastic cases in. And I picked those up real cheap when the store went out of business. Nice thing about plastic is they're waterproof. So you don't have to worry about the weather conditions. I've got my singing bowls in this one. And some singing bowl mallets. Little singing bowl cushion there. And I have some other cushion that I use for the bowls. And then I'll just put... A towel on top kind of stuff it all in there so it's nice and tight it's great protection for when I'm traveling nothing moves around I've got more of these and I'll use two of them for my Kulantang gongs I can get four of the eight gongs in each case so two cases and I have those 
Kulantang gongs kind of nested in there with some padding and protection. So it's great for small things and accessories. Now, if you really have a budget problem, you can use your shipping box if you still have it from your gong. This is the box from my 32-inch symphonic gong. It's, gosh, I've probably had this like 12 years or so. I've used this as a road case on many occasions. You can see I've added some straps and buckles to it. Put some extra padding in there, and it works out real well. So, you know, save your boxes. I've got all the boxes that my Peisty Gongs were shipped to me in, and I can use them either for storing, or if I have to ship a gong somewhere, I can use it, and in a pinch, it works as a road case, you know, better than just a towel or something. And you don't want to forget your stands and hardware. Here's a basic drum stand hardware bag. It's got a little bit of padding, big zipper top. Got a Peisty Gong stand in there. It's got some big padded handles to make it easy to carry. There's also some shoulder straps that you can use. Bags are nice. Sometimes they can be a little floppy if you get too many stands in there, too much weight in there. Some stands are a little stiffer than others. Some do come with plastic inserts, which are nice. It helps it keep its shape. And you can get some pretty expensive bags, but at that price, you might as well just buy a case, which will give you even more protection. But bags are nice if you just got one or two small stands. They'll work out fine. Otherwise, I usually use cases from all my stands. This is a Humsenberg fiber drum case and it's used for different stands. I like to use it for all my gong stands. As you can see it's a fairly big case and it will actually telescope to take more hardware but I try to keep it manageable. I don't need a case that weighs 200 pounds because I'm not going to be able to carry it around with me too easily. But this one I will put on some wheels, like a wheeled tray, stack other gear on it, and wheel it around. So that's it for bags and cases. Thanks for checking it out. Remember, protect your investment. You've got a lot of money in gongs and stands and mallets. Take care of them. We'll see you next time.